He grew up in a hard-working steel town on the Ohio River. It was here John Kasich's father carried the mail on his back six days a week. His grandfather worked in the coal mines. His mother was the daughter of immigrants. Here, John Kasich learned the value of a job, the dignity of work, and a passion for helping others. And when he stepped out on his own, those values went with him. Here, John Kasich was the first in his family to earn a degree. Here, he led a team that balanced the federal budget and ignited an era of job growth. And here, he married Karen and became the father of twin girls. Today, as John Kasich leads Ohio to a new day of job creation, it's the values he learned here that guide him. Governor John Kasich. Both of my parents always taught me that those people who were hurting are people that we need to help. We can't look the other way. So I've always had a, a sort of an underdog mentality about things. I mean, economic growth and prosperity shouldn't be limited to a few. When I came in, we were down 350,000 jobs, and now we're up almost a quarter of a million, and I think we're just scratching the surface. My job is to lift people, to serve this state, and to make it stronger and better give hope to people and improve their lives. Well, my father was a postman, and he told me, Johnny, you stand on your own two feet. You go out there and change the world. My mother was a very outspoken person, and I learned a lot uh, from my mother from the standpoint of it's okay to shake it up and tell it like it is. My parents were, um, were killed by a drunk driver, and it was, as, as a boy, it was my worst fear because my father would go late at night to pick my mother up at her job. And then one day I got a call that they weren't ever gonna get home. And it sent me into a sea of darkness um, and real struggle. But out of that, uh, I, I was transformed. My parents did not die in vain. One of the messages that my mother and father gave me is, Johnny, make sure the place where you were is a little better off because of the fact that you were there. And um, that's the motivation for me. The issue is, what do you do with your life to make things a little bit better in the world in which you live? In 2008, there were nearly 10,000 jobs that were lost here in Wilmington. There was a sense of hopelessness. There was a sense of despair. Governor Kasich has provided a leadership to create this facility, which enables us to provide more jobs. Wilmington is coming back. More jobs are being created. Unemployment has been cut in half. For the people that work here, this job is a ray of hope. The sun is coming up again in Ohio. Kasich works. When my son was four and a half, he was diagnosed with autism. There was a bit of the unknown. Governor Kasich has definitely stepped out on the platform saying, I will fight for your child. He's expanded insurance-related coverages. He's also created employment initiatives so that children with autism can work in the community when they become adults. Grant is going to have a stronger future because of the work of Governor Kasich. Kasich works. I became a victim of human trafficking at the age of 16, and I was trapped for 23 years. After being beaten, tied up in basements, being sold over and over, I was a product to someone else. Today, I live this beautiful life. Because of John Kasich, we have tougher penalties for those who traffic women and children, better protection for victims, and better partnerships to help those who are trapped. As a survivor, I'm very grateful for the work that Governor Kasich has done. We've come a long way in the last four years. We can't stop now. Together, we're making Ohio the best place to live and to work and to raise a family. We have the people and the talent, the resources to lead the way to a much brighter future. We're creating 21st century jobs and a world-class education system to fill them. And by joining together, we're lifting everyone up, no matter their circumstance. It's only halftime, Ohio. Get ready. The best is yet to come.